Little Red Hot. Once upon a time, there was a little bitty Texas gal called Little Red Hot. Folks called her that because she loved to eat red hot chili peppers. She ate peppers for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. She ate pepper ice cream for dessert. She had hot pepper cake for her birthday with jalapenos on top instead of candles. Folks used to say that Little Red Hot could eat fire out of a stove. Little Red Hot would answer, no, I wouldn't do that. Fire ain't hot enough. One day, Little Red Hot's mama said to her, Little Red Hot, I heard from Grandma today. She's feeling poorly. I think she has a cold. Could you drop by and look in on her? She'd feel so much better to see you. I'll do that, Mama, Little Red Hot said. I'll bake a hot pepper pie, Grandma's favorite. It'll knock those cold germs right out of her. Little Red Hot got busy in the kitchen. In no time at all, she had mixed up hot pepper pie. She used Louisiana hot sauce instead of milk and filled the crust with eggs, cheese, and the hottest chili peppers she could find. Jalapeno peppers that could make a grown man weep. Tabasco peppers that could knock over a longhorn. Habanero peppers that could take the paint off the wall. And Naga Jolkies from India, one of the hottest peppers in the world. Each one came with a warning label. Little Red Hot put the pie into the oven to bake. She didn't have to turn the oven on. The pie was so hot, it baked itself. Little Red Hot got on her pony and set off for Grandma's house. Along the way, she met with Pecos Bill and his cowboys. Hey, Little Red Hot, where you going? They called to her. I'm taking a hot pepper pie to Grandma. She has a cold, Little Red Hot said. Now you be careful on your way to Grandma's house, said Pecos Bill. We just talked to the three little tamales, and they say that Senior Lobo, the big bad wolf, is prowling around the neighborhood. You keep an eye out for him. I'll do that, Pecos Bill. Bill, Little Red Hot promised. The little three little tamales were in the other story. No sooner had Pecos Bill and the cowboys ridden out of sight when Little Red Hot saw a big gray animal looping toward her. Hold it right there. Don't you come any closer, Little Red Hot yelled. I know who you are. You're Senor Lobo. Pecos Bill warned me about you. The big gray animal stopped running. You got me all wrong, miss, he said. I'm not Senor Lobo. I'm Senior Coyote. I may be tricky, but I won't hurt a fly. You're mighty big for a coyote, Little Red Hot said. You're my, a mighty smart little girl and pretty too. Where are you going? I'm going to visit my grandma. She's feeling poorly, said Little Red Hot. What a good little girl you are. You tell your grandma I hope she feels better. And off he went. Of course that big gray animal wasn't Senior Coyote at all. He was Senior Lobo, and Little Red Hot had no business talking to him. But it was too late to do anything about that now. Even worse, Senior Lobo knew a shortcut that took him straight to Grandma's house. He stepped up to the front door and knocked. Little Red Hot, is that you? Grandma said. Senior Lobo made his voice sound like Little Red Hot's. Yes, Granny. I heard you were sick. I hope you're feeling better. I feel better already. Now here, now that you're here, come on in. Sorry, Mommy. I'm gonna go back up. Senior Lobo just did that. Grandma let out a yelp when she saw him. Grandma was sick, but she wasn't slow. She jumped out of the window and ran. I'll catch her later, Senior Lobo said. He rummaged through Grandma's clothes until he found a spare nightcap and a nightgown. He put them on and hopped into bed just as Little Red Hot arrived. Howdy, Grandma. It's Little Red Hot. I'm sorry you don't feel good. Why is your front door open? To let in a breeze, darling. To, get the bree to let the breeze in, Senior Lobo said. I brought you a surprise, Grandma. Little Red Hot went into the kitchen. She cut a big wedge of hot pepper pie and put it into the plate. She carried it into Grandma's bedroom. Mommy, you can jump in a pencil. Senior Lobo lay on the bed with the covers pulled up to his nose. Little Red Hot looked at him real hard. Grandma, what big eyes you got? The better to see you with, darling, Senior Lobo said. Grandma, what big ears you got? The better to hear you with, darling, Senior Lobo said. 
Grandma, what big teeth you got. Now don't say another word, because I know what they're for, said Little Red Hot. What are they for, darling, Senior Lobo asked. That's one. They're for eating this hot pepper pie. I made it just for you. Little Red Hot shoved that, pie, that wedge of pie into Senior Lobo's mouth. To say he yelled wouldn't do him justice. He hollered so loud space aliens could have heard him over in the next galaxy. He didn't go out the front door or the back. He shot straight up like a rocket right through the ceiling of Grandma's bedroom, trailing fire and smoke as he went. Skip it. That's when Pecos Bill and the Cowboys arrived. Grandma told us Senior Lobo came by. Where is he? Little Red Hot pointed up at the hole in the ceiling. He went that away. I don't suppose he'll be back. Would you all like to stay for supper? I got hot pepper pie for everyone. No thanks, Little Red Hot, Pecos spilled, and the cowboy said, we're brave, all right, but not that brave. Can I skip the page? Okay. So Little Red Hot and her grandma ate that hot pepper pie all by themselves, every last crumb. And guess what? It knocked those cold germs flat out just as Little Red Hot had promised.